Well, this man knows what it's like to go to Victory Lane, but it's been a while for Pat Patrick. You got out of racing. You came back to try and help Firestone get involved. And Pat, you only live just down the road here. But the question is, what are you going to do about your fuel strategy? Because it looks, I noticed you and Jim McGee were chatting about it and, and trying to decide, is it going to be a gas and go we may see at the end? I can't really elaborate on that because Jim and I haven't agreed yet. Oh, boy. Jim, why don't you get in here now? What what part of it do you want to argue for? A gas and go? We haven't agreed to disagree either. <laughs> this is what makes racing so very important, though. The strategy that unfolds on pit road. Forget the drivers during the caution. You guys are checking your telemetry. You're checking between yourselves and the years of experience. What do you think will be the determining factor, Pat? Well, it depends on how the cars perform. And Al's running very well. Of course, so are the is our car. The Firestone tires are doing excellent. As you know, the two Honda cars are the fastest cars on the track. But Roger is a tough guy, and it seems like old times, he and I fighting it out. I just hope we're both here at the end. Well, the great thing, guys, when he was talking to me, look at over here. Jim McGee had one ear cocked, and he kept trying to see what Pat might say to see if he could get an edge on that argument and that agreement to disagree. A couple of real smart cats.